Self-isolation day one. Uh, this is going to be my first full day of um, self-isolating. So no going for a walk, no going to the park, no going for a jog, uh, no friends coming round, just me by myself um, doing this and a whole day of Netflix. Uh, you got to do what you got to do, right? The funny thing is, I'm actually a natural self-isolator. I don't know if that's a word. I just made it up. I'm not quite sure. But I am pretty much 90% of the time by myself anyway. It's true. I don't have um, a partner. I don't have kids. Um, yes, friends come round, but not that much. I'm pretty much, my day consists of obviously doing some work. If work comes in, going to the gym, coming home. That's it. Um, so I guess the gym has been cancelled, right? That's been done. And at the moment, there is no work. I was supposed to do some stuff for Sky Sports uh, Monday to Friday, which I was very excited about. I started researching it. Um, and we got a call this morning, sorry, a message in the group chat this morning saying that's been uh, canned for now um, because of obviously this self-isolation and social distancing. And I think it is important that Sky Sports um, show that they're doing their part, right? So to have three or four guests around the table really doesn't, doesn't make sense for now, which um, I was gutted about. A, I was gutted because it's a good chance, right? Good opportunity to be back on Sky Sports. Um, and a lot of people would be tuning in because uh, not much to do for people right now. And B, obviously financially, I am self-employed. Um, I don't know if people realize or, or know this, but there isn't much, obviously, work for self-employed people right now. Um, plus, um, I don't know if there's anything the government are doing. I know there's some sort of small sort of amount of money they're given, but again, it's not going to be much. Um, I'm not complaining, if I'm honest with you. Um, again, it's just me looking after me, which isn't that difficult to do. Um, I know there's people out there that are self-employed, that have families to look after. Uh, people are dying. Again, all the stuff that we know. So I'm not going to complain if I get if I don't get a penny from the government. Um, I've got my own money and I've got a lot of support from people. So um, we're OK, people. We're OK. All right, let's talk about um, UCAD and VADA. Um, UCAD announced, when did they announce this? I think they announced it last week that they're obviously stopping their drug testing. And um, VADA done the same thing this morning. Now, um, I fully understand that, right? I mean, obviously, I don't expect UCAD and VADA to be knocking on people's doors right now. But don't fucking announce it. I mean, we all knew that this would stop. Or I did, at least, anyway, knew that um, VADA are not going to turn up and knock on people's doors at random times of the day and, and get a blood test and a urine. So I knew that. Right. I think I knew that UCAD were going to do exactly the same thing as well. But why announce it? That's almost like, I don't know, that's almost like police saying, that, OK, we're going to turn off all security cameras now. Well, fuck. All right, then. Well, let the bank robbers go out and do what they do. I mean, come on, don't announce it, UCAD and VADA. It's pretty stupid. I mean, look, people will cheat regardless. And you guys know where I am about people cheating in this sport. People will cheat. But if you're basically telling them that, this is the time to cheat because there is going to be no testing. Then I mean, fuck me. They're going to go. They're going to go full on Jarrell Miller. That's what they're going to do. They're going to literally do whatever they can do until you again send a message that you know what we're back testing. I just find it. Um, I find it a bit stupid, right? I mean, again, you don't need to announce that. That's something that you keep quiet just because you want to have the athletes still on. Uh, tender hooks thinking that that knock could come at the door and um, it isn't the right time to be sticking a needle at my bum. That's what you want to do. So yeah, very um, stupid from UCAD, very stupid from VADA. Am I surprised about their stupidity? Absolutely not, because I do think that both of those organisations are pretty stupid. But um, I would like to think that someone, somewhere in that organisation, before they pressed send, on that message for mm, this might not be the right thing to do like why would we want to announce to all the drug cheats out there that we're not doing testing but they haven't um so yeah very disappointing with vada and ucad um if i'm honest with you um i do think cheaters will cheat anyway so i mean i can kind of counter this by saying regardless of what ucad and vada are doing those that want to cheat will cheat and this doesn't change anything but I think for those that are kind of on the edge and not sure about cheating, 
or a bit like, I don't really want to cheat because I'm scared of getting caught. Well, now you've opened the door to them. Now, for those guys, you've pretty much said, yeah, here's your year. This is it. This is your opportunity. Get pumped through or get pumped full of as much steroids as you can because we are not about to test you through this period. Yeah, so I think um, I think it's pretty dumb. Um, away from that, guys, I might be doing a Q&A, so get your questions in. In fact, let's announce it now. I am going to do a Q&A because I have nothing else to do. Richie, nothing else to do. So we'll be doing a Q&A um, in a few days. So get your questions in for the Q&A. Um, this could be a long one. I, I say that all the time, but this could be a long one. It's normally about an hour, isn't it? We're going to go full on fucking two hours. What I might try and do is, um, I know that we're talking about social distancing, but I might try and get someone in with me to answer the Q&A. Um, I might rope in Ryan. All of you guys have been asking about Ryan. I might rope in Ryan to get out of his house. He only lives five minutes away from here or 10 minutes away and do the Q&A with me. So um, get your questions in, people. I will try and do more videos. Um, obviously, there isn't much to talk about and I don't just want to do a video just for the sake of doing a video. What I will try and do is like I did the other day with Uni, um, I might just try and get guests in because I prefer those kind of long chats rather than just me doing this and making shit up and having nothing to talk about. And we're out of here. Peace. Guys, sorry, it's me again. I'm back. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, please like and share the videos. It really does help the channel a lot. And if you want to support the channel, I do have a Patreon account. The link is in the description. All right, I'm done. Peace.